Hello, Pain Free for Life members. This is Dr. Rob Van Bergen bringing you another Monday 10 minute training. This is our weekly video series where I take a microcurrent topic and try to cram it into an easy to digest 10 minute session. We're continuing our new trajectory of working on member requested videos for these trainings. And today we're gonna to be talking about treating tinnitus with microcurrent therapy. Now, tinnitus is when you experience ringing or other noises in one or both of your ears. Um, the noise you hear when you have tinnitus isn't actually caused by an external sound, um, but rather something internally. And, and people around you usually cannot hear it. Tinnitus is a relatively common problem, and it affects roughly 20% of the population, um, which is a huge amount of people, especially common in older adults as well. So this is something that we we have to keep in mind. It's it's just a common thing that's going to come up um, in a lot of people, and uh, the approaches do vary. So tinnitus is usually caused by an underlying condition, such as age-related hearing loss, uh, an ear injury, or a problem with the circulatory system. And this is what makes it so very challenging to pin down. With microcurrent, we work tirelessly to eliminate the root cause of a problem. But this in and of itself is challenging to do when the root cause is unknown and subject to so many different variables. Uh, because of this, there are a few different avenues to take when approaching tinnitus that all aim to target common causal factors and eliminate them. So we're going to cover those steps today. So first is painting just around the ear to kind of enhance circulation. This is really easy to do. And I like to do this with the pencil electrode because you can kind of get really in there, be gentle. And, and the pencil electrodes um, tip there is actually quite big. So it has a good amount of, of, of current um, conductivity. So I would just paint all around the ear like this. Make sure you go behind it as well so that you're kind of getting in there. Like your mother always told you to clean behind your ears. You're gonna treat behind your ears as well. Just do it for, two to three minutes a day using a program such as Vaso, uh, FM RSI, or Blue Stim in that order, depending on which device you have, um, and perform the treatment for just those, those two to three minutes a day. So that's number one. Number two is electroacupuncture. This gets a little bit more complicated. Um, and so I've got some slides to kind of help people out and help them through this. So first off, you're going to want to make sure you're using the blue stimulation or blue stim. It's the same program, just a slightly different name um, in your device. And you're going to want to use, again, your trusty pencil electrode for this. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to be targeting these four different points and doing five minutes of stimulation on each side of the body. Now, I want you to keep that in mind. OK, kidney seven is the first one. And you can see that here on the slide. We've got kidney seven up here. What you want to do is you want to be feeling for the, um, you want to be feeling for the, um, the, the kind of indent in the area. It's almost like there's no tissue there. You've got a gap and you can feel it as you put pressure on it. You put the pencil electrode there and you press a decent amount of pressure and you adjust the power until you can feel it. You're going to treat this for five minutes with blue stem. Now, you have two kidney seven meridians, one on the left foot, one on the right foot. So you're going to want to make sure you're treating both sides of the body. The same rule of thumb applies to all meridian points. The next one is gallbladder 20. This one can be kind of hard to do on yourself. The, the image in the screen is perfect if you're doing it on someone else, right? Gallbladder 20 being right there with the two fingers um, put there against the spine, right on the midline. Um, personally, go up into the hairline. Feel for that gap. Make sure it's a, like an inch or two away from the spine. You're going to find it. Place the pencil right there. It should go through the hair. If it doesn't, my suggestion is to use a bit of uh, tensive, not tensive gel, spectra gel, or like a little bit of aloe vera gel. Just put it on the tip of your pencil electrode, and you'll be able to feel the current through the hair uh, quite easily. Um, this can't be done with the blue Avazia pencil because the blue Avazia pencil has a soft rubber black tip um, and that could absorb the gel and ruin the electrode. This is totally sealed up on the top on the Santa pencil. 
so you can use gel to add conduction if you need to. Um, but you may not need to, depending on how thick the person's or your hair is. So again, make sure you do both sides, gallbladder 20 on both sides of the head. Next, we're going to do gallbladder two. Now, this is right kind of here, as you can see on the ear. You just kind of feel that gap right there, and boom, you are done. It's, it's just a nice five-minute treatment on each side. This is probably the easiest point to find out of all the ones for tinnitus. Lastly, we got another one in the hairline, um, and you can see the image changed here. This time, we've got gallbladder eight. Now this sits above the ear, so you kind of want to go up into the hairline, feel for a kind of softer area, mine's actually kind of sore, which probably means it needs treating, and place the pencil electrode there again, and stimulate five minutes on each side, okay? Now you can do this every day until you start to see some results. I wouldn't do it past a week. If, if you've been doing it for a week and you're not really noticing much of a difference, you can probably taper back on it and try some of the different methods instead. Point three, tongue stimulation. So using the tongue stimulation tool, you're gonna wanna set the device to 121 Hertz, um, if you have an evolution or a genesis, or program 199.5 Hertz with three to one modulation in the Pro Sport or the Pinnacle. You're simply gonna place this on your tongue, the tongue stimulator, and it's really, really easy to do. Just like that. You place it on there, you close your mouth, and you're gonna treat for between 10 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the optimal. Um, this is to work on the brain component, all of the cranial nerves. The auditory nerve might, might be playing a role in your tinnitus as well as other nerves as well. The next thing that we wanna try is eye treatment with the goggles. Interestingly enough, a side effect of some of the eye treatments has been helpful in a number of people um, with providing tinnitus relief. Uh, so some using the goggles on a program like 7 to 12 hertz, simply just to improve vision, have been seeing relief from tinnitus that lasts up to a week or so, and then they have to repeat it again. So getting rid of that sound for a week at a time. The, the assumption here is that the, uh, the optical nerves connected to all the other cranial nerves are really benefiting from the addition of the, um, the addition of the, of the treatment. So you're, you're treating the optic nerve and it's connecting to the cranial nerves and working on those. So this is kind of why we do tongue stimulation as well. When it comes to the tongue stimulation, you want to do it every two to three days, but with the eye treatment, you can do it each day, um, as, as you're going, um, just, you're going to be really benefiting passively from that one. And lastly is the Gamma Energizer. This is a treatment protocol included in some of your books that works directly on the brain using gamma waves of 32 to 45 hertz to help cleanse and reset it. You're essentially gonna take the Via Chi right here, my Via Chi, have it plugged in and you're gonna put it right on your third eye like this. And you're gonna run the program for 10 to 20 minutes at maximum intensity or until you can feel it. Okay, if you can feel a hum, stop, you're in a good spot. If you can't feel anything, go all the way up to maximum. This a PEMF, you're not going to feel the electricity most of the time. Um, and you can do this daily, but it's important you do this at rest. You shouldn't be trying to watch something exciting while doing it or, you know, doing something active. Try and relax, stay calm. You're trying to work with your brain here, not force against it. Okay. All right, so that is five treatments that we can do for tinnitus. As I said, there's so many causal factors with tinnitus. Tinnitus is one of those conditions that to me is like a bit of a white whale. We're constantly hunting it and eventually we might find it, but it's like a lifelong quest to find the reason that a person has tinnitus. These are some of the most common ways people find success, but they are not the only ways. There's a lot to do with tinnitus that we have to keep researching and experimenting with different treatments, trying different things, what works for individual people and adding them to this ever growing list. I will say that a couple of years ago, we simply had electroacupuncture and nothing more. We've definitely grown our repertoire of things that are able to help with tinnitus. And I think it will continue to grow as the years go and as people keep trying more things. But having five solid options to get started with to me is awesome. So I'm really, really glad we're at that point we're at now. 
So there's quite a lot to take in. It's an insidious beast. So many different causal factors. Um, but if we can eliminate some of the causal factors and any one or combination of them could be what you need to get some tinnitus relief, then it will be well worth it. So thank you for joining me. And as usual, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another Monday 10-Minute Training. Have a great week, everyone.